while that's happening, Inter still retain an interest in the Arsenal striker Falarin Balogun because after Lukaku's deal fell through, he was the one that Inter were focusing on. Arsenal, though, are thought to want £50 million for Balogun and Inter aren't interested in signing him and can't do that deal at the prices being quoted. But for Inter to sign both Skamaka and Falarin Balogun in this transfer window, however unlikely, then I think the Arsenal price and the valuation would have to come down, but also Inter would have to sell from their current squad to raise funds to be able to do both deals. Monaco, though, are still very, very interested and they're one of a number of clubs who want to do a deal for Falarin Balogun as well. Arsenal agree to personal terms with Brentford's David Raya ahead of potential shock move. The 27-year-old Spanish international has been a vital cog in the wheel under Thomas Frank at Brentford but a chance to play his trade for a Champions League club is seemingly too good to ignore for the Barcelona-born shot stopper. Budding Premier League title challengers Arsenal could be set to make a shock move during the summer transfer window after the Gunners have reportedly agreed personal terms with Brentford keeper David Raya. For the Athletics' David Ornstein as well as football insider Fabrizio Romano, Raya is already gunning for a move across London after jumping at the chance to agree terms with Mikel Arteta and Adu Gaspar after the keeper already informed Brentford of his desire to head to the Emirates. The 27-year-old Spanish international has been a vital cog in the wheel under Thomas Frank at Brentford and played a key role in helping the club not only achieve promotion to the Premier League but help the Danish tactician mould the side into a credible top-half outfit. Despite that, a chance to ply his trade for a Champions League club is seemingly too good to ignore for the Barcelona-born shot stopper. Talks between the two capital sides are said to already be underway but are expected to kick further into gear after the latest development. Previous reports stated that the Bees would look to get £40 million for the keeper, but Arsenal could be unwilling to meet them at that price point. Raya won't join Arsenal just to be a backup to Ramsdale says Perry Groves. Mark Goldbridge made a comment a few days ago about Mikel Arteta needing to think about his goalkeeping department, alleging Arsenal can't trust Ramsdale, and we were like, what is this man talking about? Then, this weekend, it was suddenly revealed that Mikel Arteta is interested in signing David Raya in order to add competition to his goalkeeping department. If David Raya joins, no one knows who will be Arsenal's first choice at goal, but Raya will demand promises of game time if he joins. Why would the Spaniard require guarantees? Former Arsenal attacker Perry Groves stated on TalkSport that Raya ought to realise that at his age 27, he needs to be playing consistently and that he may use this to his advantage when considering his exit from Brentford, considering Bayern Munich is also interested. Raya wouldn't go there to be a number two to see if he can oust Ramsdale. He hasn't got the time in his career to do that. There's no way David Raya would go to Arsenal, as a backup Ramsdale is number one, Groves said. There's talk that Manchester United approached him about a move to Old Trafford a while back, and he stated that he was eager to compete for a starting spot. The message is clear. Aaron Ramsdale must improve his performance or risk becoming a backup himself.